Hello everybody, welcome back to another repair job. Today we've got an A1466, this is a 2015 model, 2017 model, somewhere between that. i got to say, these A1466s of this particular era are one of the best MacBook laptops that are around for repairs. If you're ever going to get started in MacBook repairs, then an A1466 is one of the most ideal units to get started with. They're fairly low cost, but uh, they're well understood, and they're a great laptop. About the only thing that lets them down at this point is the limited screen resolution. But that aside, they're fantastic. They run fast enough, they've got enough storage, you can upgrade the storage. They've got all the ports that you would ever need. Great machine, lightweight, has a pretty good life on the battery as well. And of course, replacing the battery is dead easy in these, just a couple of screws and it's over and done with. Uh, I do wish that more MacBook laptops were along the design philosophy of what the 1466 was. Alas, we don't have that, but um, at least we can still keep making these ones work. So, on to today's machine. This one's coming in saying slow, high fan RPM, SMC fault, power management fault, and camera fault. Now, all of this relates to SMC, and it certainly sounds like a sensor is playing up somewhere. There's, um, you know, the high RPM means the SMC is upset. If it's booting, it's probably still functional. What's weird is the camera fault. Uh, I am wondering, with the 1466, let's have a look at the board view and the schematics. The camera actually sits on the SMC as well. Okay, so if we have a look at our schematics, this is the camera connector up here, and we have SM bus. So you can see this goes to the SMC. So we can see that the camera, this is ALS, shares the same bus as the temperature control. So that could be our, you know, that relates to the fan speed and things like that, chipset current. What I'm wondering here now is this is a known fault that sometimes comes up that the camera fails in these and it can probably cause all these symptoms so what we'll do is we'll actually boot up just to verify what we're seeing i'll plug in the diagnostics we'll say kill the lights i can already tell by the fact that this is taking some time to load so it's definitely experiencing a sensor issue Okay, we are in. I think I can hear the fan running at full speed. Uh, we've got the pinwheel of slowness here. But I can see here the exhaust fan is 6,500 RPM. So that's completely flat out. The PCH is 128, the CPU prox is 128, the heat pipe is 128. So yeah, they definitely got invalid data there. Let's have a look at the camera, see if we can get that up. It did come up green there, but it's saying we'll resume when Mac cools down. So I think the camera might be sort of functional, but something's happening. All right. We'll shut this down, we'll pull that camera, and see what happens. Okay, so to get to the camera connector on this, we just have to take the flat flex off. Battery's off disconnected, and this is our camera connector here. We'll just check the diode mode values on it. First, we're going to check it with the camera connected. So it's these two here in particular. Yeah, 4.8, but that should be, I think, higher than that. And 5.1. There's a bit of a difference between the two there. But they are actually fairly much on the mark. 5.5 five each. So we're not actually getting a diode mode issue there. So if it is the camera holding it down, it's doing it in a different kind of way. It's not showing up in measurement. Okay, so that's removed. There's no problem leaving the camera disconnected. Other than the fact that you won't get a camera. Okay, plug that back in. Let's 
power it up and see how we go. Ah, oh, that was certainly a bit quicker. So I'll log in. Overall, it does feel, already feel quicker. Let's check our statistics. The exhaust fan is only at 1200 RPM, so it's certainly a lot better now. No point running the camera because obviously we don't have one. So in this particular case, it looks like we've got a faulty camera module. Not exactly sure where the fault is in the camera module. It doesn't seem to be shorting out the lines or anything, but it is making a mess of that I2C line. This now seems to be running fine. So not everything is a logic board repair. Sometimes just noticing something a little out of the ordinary, uh, the fact that we actually had a camera fault included among the others was the little piece of information that we needed to go looking in the right direction. In this particular case, you can either take the front bezel off and unwrap the cabling for the camera, or you can just simply replace the whole bezel. It's probably much the same one way or the other. The amount of labor required to take the bezel off and replace the camera assembly probably means that just simply getting a whole new assembly is um, likely to be the cheaper route, particularly if you can accept one that's maybe got a small bit of blemishing on it or something like that. Anyway, that will be fixed. At least it's nothing major, which is good because this is a high performance board. This is a 1.8 gigahertz, 8 gigabyte logic board, and they're a pretty nice one to keep around. This should easily last for another couple of years, no problem. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time.